So this question is uh, talking about working with fractions. Um, so therefore we need an answer that has a numerator and a denominator. And if we look at this shape and take the key information, so what we've got, x is the midpoint of AB, uh, y is the midpoint of BC, and z is the midpoint of CD. So if I draw straight down from there to there, then that's telling me that because they're midpoints, then although they're saying it's not drawn accurately, then they're telling me that the whole of this part here is one half of the rectangle. This line is going down the middle and it's a diagonal of this shape here and therefore this has to be a half of that shape. That's the whole thing. So therefore this part here is a quarter. So this part here is a quarter of the shape. We then can see from the other information that y is the midpoint of BC. Well, if it's the midpoint of BC then because this is a half of the whole rectangle then this must be a quarter of that part and because this is split by the diagonal here then this must be a half of a quarter so this bit here must be one eighth. So basically by looking at the information and going through and using it to break the shape up into parts then we can see that the shaded part is made up of a quarter of the rectangle plus another quarter of the rectangle plus an eighth of the rectangle and because when we're adding um, fractions we need to have common denominators then it's like saying two eighths plus two eighths plus one eighth that equals five eighths so the answer for this question is five eighths break the shapes up into their bits is usually a quick way of doing these kind of questions particularly using the information they give you um, you could have used some algebra, there's all kinds of different ways that this question could have been answered but this one seemed to be the more efficient of breaking the shapes up into component parts and then adding the individual fractions together.